Another Milwaukee child, a victim of gun violence. The 11 year old boy was shot in his own home last night. Police are looking for those responsible. Katie Crow, the reports on the effect that crime is having on one of the boy's north side neighbors. A family member shared this photo of Nasir, the 11 year old boy shot in his own home. Police markings show where bullets pierced the siding and front door. Tamira Green lives a few houses down on 65th Street near Silver Spring. I just heard the gunshots and I got down on the floor. And then to find out that it's a baby that lives on the block that, you know, he's innocent. I see him every day going to school. She is fed up with people not speaking up when they know who's responsible for crimes like this. It's time to snatch that rug up. We cannot continue to, you know, keep things quiet you know, to make things, you know, oh, well, we're not going to say anything because no, it's it. We're tired of it. We're, we're tired. Of, we want to live in peace. Tamira is determined to stay in this neighborhood and be part of the solution. She didn't have it easy growing up in Milwaukee, but went on to graduate from Northwestern University and build her own staffing business. To get more young people off the street right here in her own neighborhood, Tamira and her husband have started their own nonprofit. It's called Junius James Incorporated. It provides job training and employment opportunities. If you're tired of it, do something about it. If you want green grass in your community, then you got to plant some seeds. We're not trying to, you know, fix everything all in one day because, you know, we're human. And if we can be able to help at least one person or, you know, or more, then our job is done. As Tamira works for change, 11 year old Nasir is recovering from trauma at Children's Wisconsin. Luckily, we're told his injuries are not life threatening. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.